So guys, yeah, you know what it is, man. We're gonna check out some Oz Twins true story, or I say, or in this case, true life story. So this one is called Financial Story Car Repossession at Hodge Twins. I'm sure this is gonna be good. So before we check this video out, if you have not done so, make sure you all subscribe to this channel so that way we can provide more content for you guys. And with all shut us down, make sure you guys go ahead and check out the Hodge Twins, man. I'll put all the channels in the description box down below so that way you can show some love and check their videos out. And also remember, don't forget to keep that notification bell on so that we don't miss any videos that I upload. Now, without further ado, why don't we check this story out? Because I'm sure this is gonna be good. Hey, it's Keith and Kevin. Hodge oh, Twins checking back in with y'all. Think we like to share another um Haji tale. True life story. Yeah. Keith's <laughs> gonna tell you about a story about when he's having some financial problems. Hey, this is back when I was 20. I'm 35. Well, we still saying. have some damn financial problems, but this financial problem was happened to be a funny story. Yeah. So we're going to share it. <laughs> Listen, I think, no, you know, I think I was about 21 or 22 at the time. I'm 35 now, so this is... It was over 2009. Damn, man, you know. Um, about 11, 12... The reason why I'm talking about this is because um, my uncle... 13 years ago. ...his car repossessed. Well, not my uncle. Well, about 10, 13, because, uh, you know, we're all on uncle, the way to August. Uncle so. in law. Because his car repossessed. Pretty much Whatever. He got his car repossessed. So, well, I'm going to tell you the story. Have you had your car repossessed? I have. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm nope. going to tell you about it. Like I said, man, I was about 21, 22 at the time. Some financial difficulties, you know. Uh, had split up from my first wife. I was going through that. And uh, had me a 1995 Mustang Candy Apple Red. I used to get a lot of action from this car, you know? I used to get a lot of action from this car, man. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, I, had, I had to see that car go, but uh, I had to let it go, you know? And, um, but I needed some more transportation, you know? I, I needed some, ah, uh, I needed some, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I needed some more transportation. So, so paper, I had to figure out the how I was going to replace these boy. wheels. So I got two jobs. I had a job at night as a security guard, working eight hours, and I had a job with a, uh, a tip agency, doing general office shit. Another eight hours, burning, getting sleep. But I saved up a lot of money quick, you know? And I wanted to buy me a car cash, but I had to make sure I didn't get my car that was like four or five months later on, repossessed in the meantime. See what I'm saying? I was using my car as a loaner till I got my money together so I could buy a car cash. Free loaner. Yeah, free, uh, yeah, it was a free loaner. Free loaner. Free but, uh, loaner. <laughs> that time, my brother was still oh, in the base yeah. in the Marine Corps, and I was living with him. So, um, I was coming home from work, and the, the MP at the front gate, they got to check your car in. And I knew him pretty good, and he's like, hey, a big-ass Ford fucking tow truck was looking for your car. You laid on your payments? I was like... Yeah. Well, they, they're trying to repossess your car and give me the heads up. It's like, fuck. <laughs> like, man, I was like, how long ago was that? He's like, man, that could have been no more than 30 minutes ago. Right? I was like, fuck, man. So I said, I'm going to go ahead and go home real quick, park my car, figure out what I want to do, and, um, and go from there, right? So I, I drive about another mile away after you get on the base to park my car. As I'm parking my car, this fucking tow truck out of nowhere, I do not know where this big blue Ford tow truck came from. Hauling ass, man. This damn tow truck was doing about 80 coming right at me. <laughs> Old white neck, uh, a white redneck looking dude was in it, pointing at me like, motherfucker, I'm taking this car <laughs> right now. And uh, I so happened to park right in front of this other Ford Mustang, it was a black one. And I parked, and then when the tow truck came, he boxed me in. He would let me out. Mm -hmm. I was like, I ain't going out like this, man. Hey, fuck that. I ain't going out like that. Like that. Fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I still needed my loaner. So I was like, I was like, move your damn tow truck, man. He's like, no, I'm taking the car. You fucking five months late on the car. You ain't paid nothing five months. So I'm like, move, bitch. And he's like, no. I was like, man, <laughs> you trying to tell that bitch I made like three payments 
Like an hour ago? Or some shit? No, I, yeah, I was going, hey man, I, I just made a payment, you know? You should already had it. He wouldn't hear that bullshit, right? So <laughs> I was like, fuck it, I gotta get out of here. So I was trying to go, but he had scooted the tow truck so I couldn't move. So finally I was like, fuck this, man, I ain't going out like no pup, bitch. So I took the car, <laughs> bam, back into that Ford Mustang was behind me, pushed that motherfucker about 20 feet. <laughs> then that tow truck's fucking whole demeanor changed. He knew I wasn't playing. <laughs> Got enough room, scooted out, vroom, took off, man. He followed me for about a good mile, but once I hit the freeway, it was all over. He wouldn't catch me. But uh, I had still had a problem. I shut up, bitch. I still had a problem. So, I had, what the hell am I park this car? So I would park this car when I get home from work. I would park this car like three miles away from where I live. I would park it in this big parking lot where there's a bunch of businesses, and I would park it right in front of a Seven Eleven. And I would come pick you up, hey Kevin. No, most of the time I would walk, bitch. That's right, we was having a problem paying our phone bill. But I remember a couple of times, yeah, hey Kevin, I'm over here to 7 Eleven, man. I done put the car cover on my car. Come pick me up. Yeah, or if I couldn't get in touch with him, I'd just walk those three miles home. So I had a rough life. I had two jobs, barely getting sleep, and when I got home from work from one of them, I had to walk three miles so my shit wouldn't get repossessed. That shit went on for about another couple of weeks. Then one day, man, I was like, man, I'm fucking tired, man. I gotta, I can't, I can't be walking three miles after work, you know? So one day I was like, I'm gonna chance it. I mean, I had saved up enough money, right? It was getting close, but I wanted a little bit more pocket change before I bought my car. So I said, I'm gonna go ahead and chance it this time. So came on the base, you know, and said, no tow truck. I said, yeah, man, I'm gonna get clear. What did that MP tell you, though, when you came in, through? He didn't tell me shit. He's like, you car ain't got repossessed? He said, that, that, damn, uh, that damn tow truck be coming. But what's funny is when I came down on the base driving, it was this Ford Taurus with dealer tags on it parked on the side of the street uh, right right in front of where I was going to park my vehicle where I was living at. I was like, that's weird. And it, was a, it was a black bitch sitting in the car. I was like, oh, that's <laughs> fucking weird. Hmm. Anyway, I don't see that tow truck. It's all good. So I park my car, go in, go up the steps, I'm going to go inside and crash. And all of a sudden, I hear the car alarm on my car go off. I'm like, the fuck? I didn't... I fucking locked it. Why is it going back off again? So I take it back out and I look back at my car to reset it. There's that black bitch was running up to my fucking car that was sitting in that Ford Taurus. I was like... Hey, bitch, can I help you with something? What's going on? <laughs> hey, I'm from Ford Motor Credit, and you know what? <clears throat> I'm here to repossess this car, so don't know you ain't, bitch. <laughs> I said, back up, man. She's getting physical with me, man. You know? Yeah. I mean, I don't hit women, so I just took my ass and, like, just booted out the way with it. <laughs> Jumped in my car, right? Bitch was calling me every name in the book, but got in my car, took off, but... Like I said, she had a Ford Taurus. It was one of those Ford Taurus shows. Oh, that's the G8. That motherfucker will fly. Yeah, fly. So I'm fly. kind of racing through the city trying to get away from this bitch. Oh. I'm like, you know what? I got to do some uh, some erratic driver. You know, some, some tactics. So I got to do some driving tactics. Do like some, some operation. So I'm busting you turns running on me. Do some operation repo. Road. I said, you know what? This dude ain't bullshit. I'm going to let him go before he wrecked the fucking car. Got something to the TV show, ain't it? Long story short, man, I stayed in this car about six months, didn't pay a fucking payment on it. <laughs> <laughs> Got enough money to buy me a car, cash money, for my two jobs. But, uh, I got fired from one of my jobs, I'm going to tell you what, but that's going to be in another story tomorrow. If you haven't already noticed, Monday through Friday, the Harsh Twins is uploading a vid. And you gonna get something. It might be a skit, might be a story. No telling what the fuck you gonna get from us, but you gonna get something. <laughs> you might get this. Wee! Y'all like that shit, huh? Huh? Wee! You can fucking take the heart to ride on my fingers. Yeah! Woo! Yeah! You gonna get it. You don't know what the fuck you gonna get, goddamn. I'm fucking busy, man. But you gonna get something. Hope y'all enjoyed the story. But uh, y'all gonna find out how I lost one of those two jobs I was working tomorrow. I'm gonna tell you the story about that, so y'all. Check in with you. Hey, if you haven't done so, yeah. subscribe to our channel. Share this video with friends and family. Yeah. That's the best compliment you can give anybody. Yeah.
Refer us to your friends and family. Thanks for watching. Bye. Cut it off, bitch. <laughs> the mountains. Oh, this one was good. This one was a little funny. This one looked good. I don't think I ever had a story that was like that. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think I ever had issues like that. But, however, I do know this one. Well, this had nothing to do with car repossess. Well, no, that's a different. That's that's totally different. I was going to talk about that story. I had a story in mind that I wanted to share, but that's that's a different video. That's That's different. As far as this goes, do I know anybody that got their car repossessed? Trying to think. Nope, I don't know. I haven't. I haven't seen it, or I mean, I've seen it on TV, but I mean, that's it's not really a story, is it? I mean, because I've seen like in TVs where like, you know. As soon as uh, the the customers have found out that their car is being repossessed, all of a sudden it turns into a Jerry Springer show on Operation Repo, or or I think you know, one, there was another TV show called South Beach, um, South Beach Repo or South Beach Towing, some shit like that. It was similar to Operation Repo, but this one was in Miami. Um, yeah, you, you, that's the only thing I have seen. But like as far as personally. I can't think of one. No matter of fact, I can't think of uh, any family members or friends for that matter. I'm trying to think. You know, I'm sure they have, because I mean, I got cousins that, you know, that gone through struggles in here and there, but I don't think they, they probably have, but it's never been public. You know, I never heard about it, so, but, hey, if you guys had a similar story, did you guys ever got, car, got your car repossessed? Let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, you can do me a solid favor and smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, smash that share button. Also, make sure, like I said before, you keep that notification bell on so that way you don't miss any videos that I upload. And without a shadow of a doubt, make sure you check out the Hodge Twins. I'll put all the channels in the description box down below so that way you guys can go ahead and check them out. Alright guys, well, until next time, peace out!